Welcome. Now, in this module, we're going to take a look at what is information security governance. In the last module, we talked about what is IT governance. And uh, we looked at, um, you know, that it, you know, what IT governance consists of, what are the main frameworks. Now, information security governance is the set of responsibilities and practices exercised by the board and executive management with the goal of providing strategic direction and ensuring that objectives are achieved, ascertaining that risks are managed appropriately, and verifying that the enterprise's resources are used responsibly. Now, this is the gov uh, definition given by IT Governance Institute, as a reference uh, you can see on the screen. And this is from the uh, Boards and Directors Executive Management uh, document, which is the second edition from ITGI, which is the IT Governance Institute. So this is a slightly um, different uh, definition from what we saw previously for IT governance. Um, now, uh, moving on, in a simplified manner, you know, putting it very, very simply, information security governance is actually the mechanism how information security function overall is going to be managed by the organization. And it's all about managing information security, and that's all there is to it. Now, what can happen is that technical resources can get sometimes um, have a challenge understanding what governance actually means, because technical resources are used to more tangible uh, understanding of IT. Um, you know, this is a server. Uh, this is an application. The application is talking to the database. And these are all tangible um, activities and, and, and have tangible outcomes. But Governance is a little bit of an intangible because it consists of processes and documentation, and it's a different type of a mindset uh, required for, for that. So in order to simplify this, um, uh, as, as I just mentioned, the simple way to remember this is that IT, IT governance is just management of IT, uh, how well you're going to manage it, and information security governance is simply how well you're going to, how you're going to manage the information security or the information security system, and that's all there is to it. Now, as you can see in this graphic, uh, this is a very important structure. As you can see, IT governance is the umbrella framework on the top, the overarching mechanism, and below this there are sub-governance standards or frameworks or modules, but those all tie in and are a part of the bigger IT governance framework. So for example, Information security governance is also a part of IT governance. And uh, because IT governance also consists of information security, hence information security governance is a part of IT governance. Business continuity and DR, uh, disaster recovery, is a part of IT governance. By the way, business continuity um, and disaster recovery also has an overlap on information security governance. IT service management and IT performance management are both one aspect or one module or one section of IT governance. And then, you, of course, you have IT project management. How are you going to drive the projects? How are you going to deliver the projects? How are you going to organize the projects? So as you can see in this diagram, IT governance is the overarching framework and all the respective mechanisms how to manage IT, which you see on the bottom of the screen, which are the four boxes, they all form some a part of the IT governance framework and they lie below the IT governance framework. So the leading framework for information security governance globally, and hands down, there is probably no competition at all, um, the world's most acknowledged and credible information security governance standard is ISO 27001-2013, which is also called Information Security Management System, or ISMS. Um, it's the gold standard. It's most widely deployed information security governance framework the world over. And this provides a model for establishing, implementing, operating, monitoring, reviewing, maintaining, and improving an information security management system. And uh, this is a breakup of the clauses that you have in the beginning. Um, you have clauses 4 to 10, which are in the beginning of the document. Clause 4 is about organization, context, and scope. Clause 5 is leadership and commitment, policy, organizational roles and responsibilities. Uh, clause six is planning information security objectives and planning how to achieve them. Clause uh, seven is support 
resources, competence, and awareness. Uh, clause eight is operations, risk assessment, and risk management. And then clause nine is performance evaluation, monitoring, measurement, and analysis of results, internal audit mechanisms. Clause 10 is non-conformities, corrective actions, and continual improvement. And uh, those are very, very important um, mandatory clauses, the clauses 4 to 10 that we just saw, part of ISMS 27001. And those are the first few pages of the uh, standard as well. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.